This is the Diamond X300, or it's a Watson X300. Now, it could be either. The reason it's on the bench here, or in the kitchen, um, is because it has started to have an incredibly high SWR on two meters. Uh, but it's okay on, on, on 70 centimeters. On 70 centimeters, it's relatively flat at uh, 1.01, 1.04, uh, 1.09, so still under 1.1 to one um, across the entire 70 centimeter band. So I've taken it down off of my uh, off of my roof, off my chimney stack, um, to take it apart to see if I can see what is wrong. Also, perhaps to have a look and see how it's been built. So, yeah, let's do another antenna autopsy. And for ground radials, ground planes, they're actually a quarter wave for 70, interestingly. Um, we have a nut there, and I might need to get a... Uh, yeah, I've got a grub screw, so I need to get an Allen key out, so bear with me. Yep, I need a free mill for this. Free mill Allen key or Allen wrench. Oh, interesting. Ah, ha, ha. Interesting indeed. Okay. So, I think uh, we've spotted the issue instantly. The uh, capacitors come off on the, the two meter matching circuit. Um, the way these work is quite clever, actually. You've got a 70 centimeter matching circuit and you have a two meter matching circuit. Um, oh yeah, okay. I see they've overdone it by one turn on this. Okay, well, I think I know what the problem is. I know what I need to do. But uh, anyway, let's have a look at the rest of the antenna. Okay, I'll test this capacitor. Um, just to find out what the value is and I'll do the same with the other one and then I'll re-solder it to the point it was on this matching coil. Um, this is two five apes and then I think it's five five eights on 70. So it's two five apes on um, two meters and either five or four five eights on 70. I can't remember which. Um, but uh, it's uh, an intriguing build. Um, either which way, very intriguing, very clever. Um, I wish I understood the physics. Uh, maybe someone out there could explain it. Uh, maybe I'll research it and see exactly how it all works. Um, but yeah, really clever. So it's either Diamond or Watson, or they're copies of each other. I don't know which way around it was. But an in very intriguing antenna. Um, so I know what I'm going to do is I'm going to test these and then re-affix them, put it together, and then we'll test it for SWR. Okay, we've got our uh, LC meter out. And we'll just connect up the capacitor and find out what it is. I don't know if we can actually see what it says. We'll try. Yes, indeed. Okay, let's resolder that. Back to the antenna. Right. 
let's add this to the blue list. So this one is a 10 pica farad, which is for the 70 centimeter. I believe that's 70 centimeter anyway. Um, matching. This is the one we've just done, which is supposed to be six pica farads, uh, which we've just put onto our two meter matching circuit. Cool. Let's put it back together. an MFJ dummy load as a reference point connected up to our SWR meter and we are transmitting on 145 500 maybe I should go up a channel just one moment 145 400 and we have a one-to-one -one SWR so that's reference so I have replaced the dummy load now with the X 300, whether it's a Watson or a Diamond, again, I don't know, uh, after the repair, and we'll just test it now, take it, take it all back to where it was, again, on the same frequency, 400, 145, 400, key up, well, there we go. So the fix didn't work, so how do we fix our fix? So here it is, the antenna taken down and thrown in the kitchen on my worktop in a, in a very scientific way, as you can see. So there was the repair where the capacitor was resoldered to the, uh, to the coil. Um, and uh, I still got it connected up to my little, my little radio. And I've just tested the SWR with it on the bench and as you can see, it really doesn't make that much difference. Um, so it's still high, it's still rubbish, and it's really non-scientific, as you can see. Perfect, perfect way of SWRing something. Um, so I'm gonna I'm just gonna desolder um, the capacitor and the other one, and I just want to see where the SWR goes, um, and then I will resolder them. Perhaps I will test them again and uh, we'll, we'll just experiment and see if we can get it working. I've desoldered both of the, um, the capacitors at the moment and the reading, if I key up on, this is two meters, is 12 point something and on 70 centimeters is about the same 12 point something yep okay just test that again yep 12 so let me just reconnect one of them capacitors and we'll do the one with uh, the legs on sorry about my son shouting his head off the uh, heat shrink on the leg Would be this one Lovely. And we'll test it again. Oh, 
right, two meters, 6.5, 70 centimeters, 9.910. Okay, again, we'll connect up the other capacitor. Just gently, without burning my hand, if I can. Ow. Yeah, no change on the seven centimetres, then, you know, it, it kind of is sort of like strewn across the, uh, the kitchen. I expect it to be different when it's vertical. But to give me some idea anyway and on two meters 6 or 5.9 K we'll just play a little bit more of the capacitance here is something a lot of people do not know and that is that coax makes a really good low value capacitor and this is a bit of um, 316 um, coax and we are looking for a 6 ohm 6 ohm 6 picofarad capacitor and this happens to be 6 picofarads perfect right so uh, let's see if we can turn that into our capacitor Let me just test it. Let's see if we've got a reading. We'll just put things together again. And the SWR is one to one. One for one to one. Okay, let's uh, put it all back together and stick it up and see if it works. I've put the arrow just up on a quick pole. RG58 rubbish stuff, but that will do. So I brought the cable through, up through to the switch and into the radio. And now the SWR on 4300. Let's go down a bit actually. 4 for 0. See how many watts we're putting through. 50. 25%, which is uh, 25 watts or thereabouts. That's a lot better. Let's look like at the top end. Yeah, that's good. And let's go to the middle. Zero MSN just testing access. Spot on. So what's it like on? Yeah, no problems with that either. M zero MSN just testing access. <laughs> 